30 years have passed since China adopted the reform and opening up policy in 1978. In that time, the way people's, people view their careers was very different from how they do it today. Many used to stay in one job for life, but these days, new graduates are reluctant to follow suit and have a different perception about their careers. Liu Ming reports. Revising her resume, 26-year-old Shen Xuan is looking for a new job. This is her third job hunt since she graduated from university two years ago. She still sounds excited when talking about her previous job as press attaché for the organizing committee of the Beijing 2008 Olympic and Paralympic Games. But now that the two games have come to an end, she's looking for another opportunity. She puts interest and salary as the top two factors in her job hunt. I think of interest in the first place. I could never do something well if I'm not interested in it. But my salary and benefits package is equally important because they reflect my value to the company. It doesn't matter if my job is steady or not. I want to try different jobs to enrich my work experience. Aside from salary and interest, there are a number of things that young job seekers take into consideration. This is a recent job fair in Beijing. A large number of young graduates here hope to find desirable jobs that match their individual expectations. Firstly, I want to do a job I like. The company I work for must be strong enough to survive the current global financial meltdown. Then I will see whether this job will have good prospects. Hukou or residence permit in a city is also an important factor to job seekers from out of town. Above all, I will see if the company can help me solve the problem of Hukou. Salary is a crucial tool in order to make ends meet in big cities like Beijing. Then I will see if I will be likely to have further individual development at the company. The job should be challenging and it can help me accumulate some work experience. Pay and Hukou are equally important. But compared to these students, Xuan Xuan is already looking one step ahead. She wants to open her own business, a nail salon. She's talked about it with her mother many times, but they haven't yet to reach an agreement about it. Xuan Xuan says her mother thinks in old-fashioned ways. When I joined the workforce in the 1970s, the majority of people chose a job that was closely connected to what they had learned at school and many of us did it for a lifetime once we chose it. I really can't understand why my daughter wants to open a nail and beauty parlor. It's a disgrace to her international law major at college. The two generations see their careers from contrasting perspectives. The older generation is satisfied with a stable vocation and salary, while the younger generation aspires to a range of diverse experiences and much higher job expectations. China's 30 years of reforms and opening up to the outside world have enabled younger Chinese to seek future employment with a more open-minded and international outlook. Liu Mingzigang, CCTV.